So we know automated systems use sensors, but what are the different kind of sensors? Well, there's many. Try to memorize these. The first one we'll look at is a temperature sensor. These obviously measure the temperature by sending signals. The signals change as the temperature changes. Temperature sensors can be used for controlling central heating systems, chemical processes, and controlling temperatures in greenhouses. Next is moisture sensors. These sensors measure water levels on surfaces. It does this by checking the electrical resistance of a surface. Common examples are soil and food. Humidity sensors measure the amount of water vapor in a sample of air. This can be used to check humidity levels in buildings, factories, and greenhouses. Light sensors check for the light levels in a room. They do this by using something called photoelectric cells. Who in the blue hell are you? Photoelectric cells produce an electric current to show the brightness of the light they detect. Light sensors are used for switching street lights on or off. Infrared sensors. Brace yourself. There's two of these guys. There's active and passive. Active infrared sensors use invisible beams of infrared radiation. If something gets in the way of the beam's path, it breaks the beam. This gets detected by the system as less infrared will be received. Active infrared is used to turn on windscreen wipers automatically when rain is detected on the windscreen. They're also used for setting off security alarms when an intruder breaks an infrared beam. Passive infrared sensors measure heat radiation given off by an object. These can be used to identify body heat to spot an intruder as well as monitor temperature in an industrial freezer. Next, we've got pressure sensors. These generate different electric currents depending on the pressure applied. Pressure sensors can be used to check the weight of lorries at waiting stations, measure gas pressure in a nuclear reactor, and detect a person stepping near an automatic door. Acoustic or sound sensors are just microphones that detect sound and send these as electric signals. Examples are detecting footsteps of an intruder or the sound of liquids dripping at a faulty pipe joint. Gas sensors have many types as they work in different ways depending on what gas you're trying to detect. The most common ones are oxygen or carbon dioxide sensors. These are used to detect pollution at airports or greenhouses to check oxygen or CO2 levels. pH sensors are used to measure acidity by checking for changes in voltages. Common examples include soil in greenhouses or controlling acidity levels in a chemical process. Magnetic field sensors measure changes in magnetic fields. Examples include checking changes in magnetic fields in phones or for anti-lock braking systems in cars. Accelerometers measure the speed or movement of an object. These can be used in cars for airbags and phones to switch between portrait and landscape mode. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad! Don't worry, we're almost there. Proximity sensors detect the presence of a nearby object. An example of this is to detect when a face is close to a phone screen and switches off the screen when the screen is near the ear. Or, did you ever wonder how your AirPods know to connect to your phone when you place them in your ear? Now you know. Flow sensors measure the flow rate of a moving liquid or gas. These are used in respiratory devices in hospitals and measuring gas flow through a pipe. Finally, we have level sensors. These sensors detect the level of liquid in a tank used for detecting petrol in a car, powder levels in tablets at a pharmacy, and leak detection in air conditioning. And that's it. Those are all the sensors. That was a lot. I think I'll take a break now. <laughs>